Listen up, you stupid slaves. I'm gonna lay down some ground rules. Why are you doing this? <laughs> because I can and it's fun. How are you and Rosa getting along? Just fine. Since you're as dumb as a donkey, I might as well ride you like one. Let's go, donkey, let's go! Honey, I know you have been very busy with school and your anti-bullying charity work. I've hired a housekeeper so that it'll be helpful for you to focus on your work. Thanks, Dad. I mean, it's not like I don't enjoy doing the dishes, but it's all right. I'll let the housekeeper have some fun. You deserve it. You have been a great kid and you have been getting great marks as well. So, I believe you have been working really hard. Thanks, Dad. I learned it from you. Oh, I think it's her. Oh, hey. Hi, Mr. Taylor. How are you doing? I'm good. You can call me Robert. Come on. Hi. Hi. So, Rosa, this is my daughter, Sarah. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Guys, I really need to make a move. Uh, I have a very important meeting at my office and I won't be available at, by any means. No emails, no phone, no chat. Complete radio silence. And uh, Rosa, that is my home office. I have very important papers kept there. Uh, it's for my presentation next week. So just skip that room when we are cleaning. Got it, Mr. Taylor. And I've kept your money in the drawer in the kitchen. Thank you. I really appreciate you, Mr. Taylor. No worries. Just call me Robert. I gotta go. Oh my god, are you fine? Hey, yeah. Sarah, come help. Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. It's just a little back pain. It is not gonna stop me from doing my job. Well, just be careful. If you have too much pain, Sarah can help you out. Yeah, yeah. I'll take good care of you. Thank you. I can tell I'm in really good hands with you. But please don't be late, Mr. Taylor. Just because of me. Yes, Dad. Please don't be late to work because of Rosa. Yeah, sure. So, I really want to go. Bye, honey. Bye, Dad. Uh, Dad, can I have some money, please, for clothes? Yeah, sure. How much do you want? 70 bucks. Keep it. No, Dad. That's too much. I know. Rosa also came in last minute, right? And as you know, we always like to help people who are less fortunate than us. So, give her a hundred dollar tip when she's done. Okay, Dad. Bye, honey. Listen up, you stupid slaves. I'm gonna lay down some ground rules. First of all, you're gonna call me Lady Sara because you should be grateful to be in my presence, you stupid peasant. Second, if I ask for something, you better bring it to me in two minutes. Otherwise, I'm just gonna give you these two for now because you look a little slow. Does your dumb brain retain this information? Hello? Earth to Rosa, does your dumb brain retain this information? Yes, Sarah. Oh no, you didn't. You're supposed to call me Lady Sarah because I'm the superior human being. Try again. I'm sorry, Lady Sarah. Why are you doing this? <laughs> because I can and it's fun. I've already got everybody fooled by all this dumb charity crap. Even my own dad thinks that I am a good girl. Now don't ask me all these dumb questions. Now get out of my living room so that I can watch some movies. Oh, and plus, you have this huge mess to clean up in the kitchen. Where, Lady Sara? I don't see it. Oh, right! I almost forgot. Better clean up this mess, otherwise I'll rip your money no, up. No, no, Miss Sara, please. I need this money for my son's treatment, please. I, I'll do it right away. I'll do it. Good slave. 
Now you're getting it. Okay, better get to cleaning if you don't want your cancer filled son to die. Chop chop. Yes, sir. Oh my god, she's such an idiot. She deserves it. Excuse me, Lady Sara. Can I use your restroom for five minutes, please? Hold on a minute. My dad got me this stupid slave who doesn't even know how basic stuff works. I have to train her. Can you believe it? What do you want? I'm sorry to bother you. Can I use your restroom for five minutes? Are you serious? You haven't even cleaned the kitchen yet. Plus, you have this mess to clean up. Please, please, no, no, Miss Sara. Please. Now clean this up for your stupid little cancer kid. Hey, I'm back. What? They broke up? Uh, hold up, my dad's calling. Hey, dad, how'd the meeting go? It went amazing. I closed around the $5 million deal. Things are good. And we are blessed. I'm gonna stop by and get some dinner for us to celebrate. That's great news, dad. Uh, what time will you be home? Probably in a few hours. Traffic to the restaurant is pretty bad. I'm gonna stop by the sushi place to get his dinner. Uh, and how are you and Rosa getting along? Just fine. Okay. Put Rosa on the phone, please. I just want to check what she wants to order for dinner. Actually, Dad, Rosa's busy cleaning some stuff right now. But I'm sure whatever you bring, she'll be fine with it. Okay, sounds good. Love you, honey. Love you, Dad. Bye. I guess we still have some time to have fun before dad gets home. Since you're as dumb as a donkey, I might as well ride you like one. Let's go donkey, let's go! Lisa, please, get off my back! Let's go, let's go! Aw, you poor little donkey. You must be thirsty. Let me get you some water. No. 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 No, sir. Sir, what is happening? Dad, you're home early. She fell. I was just trying to help her. The restaurant was closed, so I thought I would just come home. Okay, okay, okay. Is that my chips? Yeah, she just went crazy. I don't know what. Uh, Rosa, are you okay? Yeah, it's just my back. There you go, there you go. Just, just, just. Come, come. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Just have a seat. Have a seat. Now, Sara, tell me what had happened. I don't know, Dad. She just went crazy and started tearing the place down. Uh, and I think she stole something from your office. No, no, I promise, Mr. Taylor. She is lying. Sara, is this true? Dad, are you going to believe a stranger or your own daughter? Come on! Rosa, I thought I could trust you, but you're going to go to jail for a long time. No, Mr. Taylor, please. I need this job for my son's cancer treatment. Enough, Rosa. I'll check the camera and see what you've stolen now. Camera? Which camera is that? I have installed a few cameras here, just in case something like this ever happens. Oh, no, no, Dad, you don't need to check it. Uh, we can just let her go. That is what I like about you, darling. But I can't let this go. People need to suffer the consequences of their actions. Dad, no. Sarah Elizabeth Taylor, I never thought you would do such a thing and put the blame on Rosa. Dad, she's just a housekeeper. And you think that it gives you the right to treat her so badly? She's a human being who deserves respect from you. You know, your grandmother was also a housekeeper. She paid for my school. She provided for our family. I'm standing here only because of what your grandmother did. And you did best to her. Every job deserves respect, be it big or small. I thought you would all know this because of your anti-bullying charity and all. But now I understand it was all an act. But dad... Enough! To your room! Now! Rosa, I'm so sorry. I didn't know my daughter was like this. You just forget about the kitchen. You have some rest. That's okay, Mr. Taylor. I can finish the cleaning. I need this money for my son's treatment. I think I could do it. Please, Rosa, don't move. I'll take care of your son's cancer treatment. 
I'll cover everything. Oh God, thank you so much. I don't even know how to thank you. No need to thank me. I'm able to do, and I'm happy to. Robert ended up paying for all of Rosa's medical bills and even covered her son's cancer treatment, which ended up working and giving her son's health back. Robert kept Rosa as a housekeeper and paid her very well to make sure she would never struggle again. Robert, however, wants to make sure that his daughter learns how to respect others and also the value of hard work. He forced Sarah to do housekeeping work for Rosa for an entire six months and all of that for free. Eventually, this taught Sarah the value of hard work and respecting others now that she has spent over six months in her shoes. Sarah and Rosa eventually become friends during the months that she works for her and Rosa and Robert end up dating and having several kids of their own. I truly hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to check out my daughter's new YouTube channel. It's so much fun to make and even more fun to watch. Click the link above or the link in the description and it'll be pinned on the top of the comment section. Hope to see you there. And remember to subscribe. Unfortunately, you can't comment on those videos, but you can still comment on this video. So leave your comments. I love reading them and I try to reply to as many as I can. You can also follow me on Facebook where you see some exclusive content on there. And if you want to see behind the scenes, Remember to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Don't forget to download the Samir Bhavnani app. It is available now on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. You can watch a lot of our premium content on there that isn't available on YouTube or any other platforms. And always remember to share this video to keep spreading positivity.